And before we go, we'd like to say farewell to one of the NewsHour's great producers who is retiring after a long career at the program. You haven't seen Lee Coram Vocus on the air, but she has worked on hundreds of our stories over the years and produced many of the best pieces. And the correspondent she has worked with the most is Paul Salmon. He pays tribute tonight to a friend and colleague. TV correspondents are often almost wholly reliant on a person you never see. The producer, who assembles cool footage, rounds up the unusual suspects, most recently lumberyard owner Larry Beckerly. What's your best lumber joke? If I told you, you'd get bored. <laughs> New York-based Lee Coram Vocas joined the news hour in the 1980s. Her very first feature... I have become an instrument uh, of my son's own tragedy on Admiral Elmo Zumwalt and his son's Agent Orange-related cancer won an Emmy. She's added five more to Peabody Awards. Thank you to the University of Georgia and the Peabody Awards. It's a very great honor. The only time you could have seen Lee on the news hour was back in 1994, when she was indignant trying to buy a Power Ranger for her son. Look around. There are none of the cool toys here. You've seen plenty of her quirky visuals, though, and she can do it all. I fronted for her poignant report on Utica, self-dubbed Refugee City, though Lee was there herself. Congratulations, your new flag. She also produced her correspondent-free day amidst the foreclosures in Fort Myers, Florida. If you come back to this property, it's considered trespassing. Her family from Sparta, she led us through Greece during its 2010 financial collapse. A would-be doctor, she engineered stories on the dangers of antibiotics resistance and the joys of kidney transplants. A woman of culture, she orchestrated a story on Emily Dickinson's garden. An erstwhile musician, she produced our stories on Franz Schubert and Bach's St. John's Passion. Throughout the years, Lee has been our Bach, or maybe more aptly, our Emily Dickinson. Brilliant, eagle eye observant, always original, and always word perfect. Will she be missed after 38 years of hyper excellence? It's a banality even to ask. For the PBS NewsHour, and mainly for Lee, Paul Salman. Thank you, Paul. Lee Coram Vocus is a treasure. We cannot believe she is leaving us. Uh, Lee, we will miss you so much.